all right now we'll be discussing the industry life cycle now similar to the product life cycle we have different stages in the industry life cycle now the product has a life cycle the product starts at some point and then it grows and then there is a maturity and then there is a decline similarly when you talk about the industry as a whole there is a time when the business starts it then progresses it then matures and then there is a decline so but there are more stages than the product life cycle it is a startup and then growth shake out maturity and the decline you will see in some books uh, they have actually accumulated the two stages of shake out and maturity because it has some similar characteristic that that is why is in some books they take it together so startup growth shake out maturity and the decline this is the industry life cycle obviously you need to if you are operating in a particular industry you need to analyze where you currently stand maybe your industry is going down maybe there will be no need of your industry in the future because we uh, we have seen many industries in the past which no longer exist because their need is no longer so when you have, when you are operating an industry and you know where you stand uh, right now so you will be able to take the good decisions if you think your industry is not growing if you you think in your industry is on at the decline stage you will be soon get out of the market then you have to do the diversification you will be moving into other industries you will be looking for other businesses because ultimately you have to carry on the business you have to make the money so you will be switching towards the other industries so it is very important to understand where you currently uh operate okay the start of stage this is the first stage and we'll be discussing the stage along with the strategies the most important thing is for the exam you should know the strategies related to each stage so first of all the startup stage which is the first stage at the startup stage the customer demand is limited due to the unfamiliarity with the new product features this is what we studied in the product life cycle as well distribution channels are still underdeveloped so there are very few product supply and promotional activities there is also a lack of complementary products that add value to the customer because at the initial stage no one offers the complement it will be offered later on it you will be offering the ads on later on limiting the profitability of the new product companies at the startup stage are likely to generate zero or very low revenue and experience negative cash flow and profits due to the large amount of capital initially invested in technology equipment and other fixed costs this is the same as we discussed in the product life cycle because at the startup stage you will be having low sales you will be having high fixed cost that is why you will be having the negative cash flows debit that is why you will be having the losses so what are the strategies the business should pursue at the startup stage okay what are these attract trend setting setting buyer groups by promotion of the technical novelty or fashion now this is something very important you see like why the why the businesses always approach the celebrities always approach the national heroes always approach the famous people in order to advertise their product like there's a new product in the market and someone quite famous is coming in the commercial is coming in the ad and promoting the product because he's a trend setter that is why like when you when you talk about the you know like you talk about the nike so the nike their lifetime ambassador nowadays there are many they have many ambassadors but the main ambassador they're having is the cristiano ronaldo so you know like i do i just forgot the figure the actual figure you can search it by yourself that when there is a new shirt 
made by the Nike and the Cristiano Ronaldo wears that and post a picture on the Insta and other uh, social applications such as Facebook. There is almost many times increased increase in the sale of the Nike since they have contracted with the Cristiano Ronaldo. So there's a huge amount of increase since they have contracted the Cristiano Ronaldo for promoting their brand. Because every time when, when he comes up with a new post wearing a new shirt, the fans, he's having the biggest fan base. The fans immediately go to the Nike. Do you remember when he went to the uh, new club Juventus from Real Madrid? Uh, I should not talk about the football, but because football is the thing which is watched worldwide. So having worldwide fan, that is why it's, a, it's an easy example to understand. So within the first week, almost all of the stock was sold. All of the fans who switched from the Madrid to the Juventus bought the shirts. And there was a huge amount of increase in the sale of Juventus shirts. So that is why this is a strategy that you need to look for the people who can wear your shirts, who can wear your shoes, who can show that, look, I'm using this mobile. And you need the people who make your product famous. Price high to cash in on novelty or price low to gain adoption. Now, this can be both of the strategies. You're keeping the price high because there are customers who just go for the high price products. If you are starting with the low price, they will be saying, no, 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 this is not going to be the product because they are charging very less. Maybe the quality is not the same as this product is having. Or sometimes you go for the low price in order to attract more and more customers. Again, this depends on which type of customers you are looking for. The strategy will be choose accordingly. If you are having a product, which is an elite product, limited, ed limited editions, you are, uh, you are actually following the rich people, then you will be going for the high price scheme. And then if you, are uh, if you are looking for the normal people to buy your products, the middle class, lower middle, look for the price, uh, low price penetration. Support. Support product despite poor current financial results. Yes, obviously, because you should not lose the motivation because this is just a start. Review investment program periodically in the light of success of the launch. Build channels of distributions, monitor success of rival technologies and competitors. Channels of distribution means you have to give the distributions, you have to open up the franchises, you have to contract more and more people to sell your products. Then you have the growth stage. As the product sold, uh, slowly attracts attention from the bigger market segment, the industry moves on the growth stage. This is same as the product life cycle where profitability starts to rise. Okay, what are the strategies you should pursue? At the growth stage, the revenue continues to rise and companies start generating the positive cash flows and profit as product revenue and cost breakdown. Ensure capacity expands because demand will be rising. So you have to make sure you are providing the market with the relevant demand. Maintain barriers to entry. Uh, for example, fight patent infringements, keep price competitive. Obviously you have to make sure that not everyone is coming in the market and beating your strategy. So you have to put some you know, barriers so that if someone is thinking to enter into the market, they may face difficulties such as um, um, building the customer loyalty, brand reputation, etc. Build brand awareness to resist impact from the new entrance. Again, this is the same thing. Ensure investors are aware of the potential of the new product. That's obviously, if they know that this product can earn, they will spend more. If they get fed up, if they get demotivated, then they, they'll not be providing you the further money. Then the shakeout stage. Shakeout stage usually refers to the consolidation of an industry. Some businesses are naturally eliminated because they are unable to grow along with the industry and are still generating negative cash flows. Some companies merged with the competitors or acquired by those who were able to obtain bigger market shares. 
So at the stake, uh, shakeout stage, growth of revenue, cash flows, and profits start slowing down as industry op- approaches maturity. As I told you that in many books you will see the shakeout and the maturity stage is written together. So the, what the business should do, what are the strategies they need to pursue with? Monitor industry for potential mergers and rationalization behavior. Sometimes it is an opportunity to get mer- to get yourself merged with a big company. Sometimes it, it is an opportunity to acquire a business. Periodic review of the production and financial forecast. Shift business model from customer acquisition to extracting revenue from the existing customers. Okay, this third strategy is very, very important. And you see nowadays, do you know the Apple? Obviously, they were famous in the past, in the near past, for product development. Every time they were coming with the new product innovation. But from the last few years, they have been widely criticized by their own customers that they are not bringing the products which you know are much different from the previous ones. But still, the people are buying because of the brand loyalty and because of the quality they have provided since decades. But nowadays, you know, the main source of earning of the Apple nowadays is actually the the cloud, the television, the other support services they are providing. Previously, it it, it was not the case. Previously, it was the product that was making much money for them. And nowadays, it is actually the security, is it actually the space, cloud, cloud, um, the thing they are generating the money. So now they have the strategy to generate more and more money from the existing customers. Sometimes we refer this thing as a lock-in strategy. Now the lock-in strategy means like obviously you, you, I'm using the Apple, so I have no, I cannot use any hand free on this because they have only one slot for it. I can only use the hand free or the earphones of the Apple. So my limitation, previously this was not the case. So if I want the headphones, I can only buy the Apple ones. Now similarly, if I want to attach a watch, a smart watch to it, then obviously I need the Apple watch. So that means for the integration, I will just buy and buy the same company products. So that means they have locked me in their products. So this is this can be a good strategy at any point. This can be a good strategy. Seek to extend growth by finding new markets or technologies. All right, then you have the maturity stage. Again, we will find the similarities between the shaking out and the maturity. Uh, at the maturity stage, the majority of the companies in the industry are well established and the industry reaches to the saturation point. This is the same as the product uh, maturity. Now, what are the strategies they should pursue? Maximize current financial returns because obviously uh, they have already uh, recovered their every cost. All they can do is to earn as much as they can because the product is moving toward the decline. Defend market position by matching prices and promotion of the rivals. Modify a market by positioning product to gain acceptance. Modify the product to make it cheaper. Leverage the existing customer database to get additional incomes. Engage in te- integration activities with rivals, for example, mergers. Ensure success and industries are ready for launch to pick up the market. Then you have the decline stage. Obviously, uh, this is the last stage. What strategies they can do at the decline stage is harvest cash flows by minimizing spending on promotion because it is no longer beneficial for you to promote your product. Simplify a range by weeding out variations like sell sell it simply, don't go for any um, unusual thing. Narrow distribution to target loyal customers, evaluate exist, exit barriers, identify the optimum time to leave the industry, seek potential exit industry, for example, uh, if someone wants to sell your business, buy your business, if someone uh, is going to uh, buy you the license and things like that. So this is the decline stage.